Yamuna Devi is the sacred river which is born from the sun. Yamuna Devi blesses all of us because Lord Krishna bases here and enacts his most enchanting childhood pastimes along the banks of the river Yamuna, right here in Brindalan, front of Radha Madan Mohan, front side of Imlitala, front side of all the beautiful gods of his diverse pastimes. The Yamuna is a place to find ourselves, purifying ourselves in the holy waters of the Yamuna. We can get more closer to the love for Sri Krishna and we can become part of Sri Vindavan Dham by becoming attached to everything connected with Sri Vindavan, Sri Yamuna Devi and Sri Krishna. We are very much indebted to our spiritual master Srila Prabhupada for bringing us here and allowing us to serve Sri Krishna and Sri Radharani in the beautiful land of Braj. So if you have any chance in your life to come here, don't miss out that opportunity. Come here and have a few days or a week or a month or the rest of your life in the association of the devotees of the Lord and learn to feel the separation of Vrindavan. That's why the saying goes, I lost my heart in Vrindavan. If you're lucky enough, this will happen to you as well. I want to give my love to you by telling you about the greatest love I ever met in this life, the love of my Guru Dev Srila Prabhupada. He gave so, such an abundance of love to me and to thousands of others that we are still surviving on that love even 30 years after he departed back to Krishna, back to the spiritual world. This love is specially available in the transcendental writings he left behind, like the Srimad Bhagavad Gita as it is, Srimad Bhagavatam and the Chaitanya Chaitamrita, and in the chanting of the holy names of the Lord. His love is so close to you as you want it to be close. But first you have to appreciate it. First you have to get to uh, taste it, the higher taste of the love. It is this love which he gave, being in love with the supreme enchanter, the supreme lover of all, the one who chants, or better said, he speaks the Gita to Arjuna this song of love. And here in Vrindavan he plays his flute, the flute of love, the flute of the Gayatri. Come to me, come to the spiritual world. Stop wasting your time in the world of illusion. This is what Srila Prabhupada came to give us. And I wish from the core of my heart to give it to you. Please accept it. Please accept this gift. Take it and do wonderful things with it. This would make me very happy. Thank you. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Simple living, I think. It is a secret. You see, Mahatma Gandhi also used this peril. But in the life of those who try to serve God, it is the most natural thing. It means no poison in your body, no poison on the land. 
It means no artificial things in life. The only thing you need is the company of like-minded people. And together with them you do the most wonderful things. Conscious arts, offerings of love. You know, to make a drama, you don't need much. To sing a song of love, you don't need much. To write a poetry and recite it in front of others, you don't need much. At least you don't need money and complication and cars and airplanes. What you need is the desire to give, to give from your heart, give thanks to the Creator of the One who maintains each and every one of us. This is such a secret, such a, such a secret code. Learn to be happy with what you have. Appreciate what you have. Appreciate your health. Appreciate your capacity of thinking, of talking, of praying, of sharing. Be, be aware of the riches you have and free yourself of the anxiety. I have to have this, I have to have that, and I am never happy. You see? Brindavan is a state of consciousness. This is Brindavan, the physical Vrindavan manifested on this earth. But you can manifest Vrindavan anywhere if you want to serve God, if you want to say thank you to Him and want to share the gifts He gave to you with others. Vrindavan means sharing in love the glory of our supreme lover who has given us a chance to be with him by chanting his sacred names, which purify our consciousness from all the misgivings, from all the frustrations. Simply by chanting, all things will become auspicious in your lifetime. Hey Govinda, hey Gopal, Keshava Madhava, Dina Dayal, most merciful Dina Dayal, forgive me my shortcomings, take me into your land of Raja, let me serve you there. Thank you very much. Try to make Vrindavan and simple living and high thinking the essence of your life and you'll become a very rich person even without a penny in your pocket.